Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video where today we're going to be doing something a little different, something I wouldn't usually do on this channel. But as you guys know, it's been a really, really long time since Rockstar have actually released any DLC or free item for us to actually use in GTA Online. Now, the only things that we can really assume at the moment is we're going to get a DLC or an update for Halloween, maybe Thanksgiving and also Christmas. From now on, that's all we pretty know. We don't really know if they're adding anything else. So I thought I'm going to make a video and I want your I want your input in the comment sections below. So this video is what Rockstar could actually add in an update to actually improve the game. Since there hasn't been one in a really, really long time, it'd be curious to know what you guys think would be good to add in GTA 5 Online. I did actually ask a few friends and I've also got some of myself. So I'm going to read down and see what you guys think. But if you have any cool ideas, it'd be really cool to see what you guys think as well. So the first one I have is my friend thought it would be a really good idea to have more cars and more customizations to the cars. Of course, at the moment, we do actually have quite a few customizations and you can change your car to your personal preference but it would be awesome if you could do a little more to your vehicle maybe you edit the suspension it would be really good if you could actually tune the car that actually maybe affects the way it drives that would be really awesome as well I know it's not a realistic racing game or anything like that but small features would you know it wouldn't go amiss alright it's really really cool if you would be able to tune up your vehicle to the way you like it so maybe the cars even go different speeds so it's kind of fair in a drag race because this guy might have a really cool look tuned car so it'd be really cool to see that I don't know that might just be me though the second one I thought would be a really good idea is some brand new online game modes. Now GTA has so much potential in bringing brand new game modes in because it's just a massive freaking shooting game, killing game. It could literally easily add stuff like Search and Destroy. Now that's just an example. But they could easily add really cool game modes into GTA Online and I think that'd be really cool to actually have something like this. To add some new game modes, rebuild the community and have a lot of fun. If you guys have got any game modes, please feel free to leave them down in the comment sections below. Now the next one I thought was a really good idea as well is as you guys are aware around GTA there are actually clubs and strip clubs and bars that you guys can attend to and my friend thought it'd be a good idea to actually open some more of these maybe even a comedy club I know that was rumored back in January something like that but that never actually seemed to actually open now as for the bars as you know, you can literally go to a bar in Sandy Shores and play darts. Now, it would be really cool if we could have other mini games, like maybe some cards, poker, some classic bar games. Now, that kind of brings me on to my next thing. Now, it would be really cool if this casino actually opened the fuck up, alright? Because it's been absolutely ages. We've had a lot of conspiracy thinking this casino is going to open up, and we really want this casino to open up. This could be a really good money maker as well. Maybe there could be some glitches and exploits in there, but Rockstar could easily sort this out. In the casino, you could maybe do some online, well, not necessarily online betting, but you could do some betting on poker, blackjack, you know, the freaking fruit machines, whatever you guys do in freaking casinos, all right? You could literally have so much fun in this casino, and I think... Even though the building's there, the interior could be created really, really well, and I think a casino would be really good to have within GTA Online. The next one is, even though this is more of a smaller update, I'd love to see fast food restaurants open. In GTA 4, you could go into like Burger Shark, Clocking Bell. They were absolute classic places you guys could go when you was in Liberty City on GTA 4. For some reason, they didn't actually do that on GTA 5. That was a question I always asked myself when I first got this game. That would be awesome if this could be open. Not only is it a good place to camp and piss people off, but it's just a jokes area. Who the hell doesn't want to go into a clocking bell? You know, let's be honest. It would be really, really cool if they managed to open some of these. So the final one I have today as well is it would be really cool if they could actually add a few more heist missions. Of course, we do have a selected amount already, but after replaying them over and over again, it does actually become boring and it doesn't actually pay that much. Once you do it over and over again, you just find it would be quicker to do a mission like Rooftop Rumble than to actually go ahead and do a heist. So it'd be really cool if they could go ahead and add a few more heists, whether that be a bigger bank or maybe something even cooler. You know, it kind of seems like they've done all the aspects already that they could do for a heist, but you know, I'm not a game developer. So if you guys have got any suggestions down in the comment section below, feel free to let me know. But also let me know what you would like to see in GTA Online. These are just my theories. I know you guys have probably got loads more and I would love to hear them down in the comment sections below and hopefully from this video when you watch it hopefully who knows we'll have a really good DLC coming soon but anyway guys thank you for watching this
Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could support the video by leaving a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already for top daily GTA 5 videos. So guys, with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.